So welcome to the 8th Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine Congress. It's really due to the vision, hard work and commitment of Neil Darks, Matthew Turner and the Terrapin team that this has enabled this event to be the number one commercial stem cell conference. And I think the strap line they put together, the marketplace for the stem cell and regenerative medicine market to meet, debate and partner is absolutely spot on. When we started the event, um, it was just a two-day conference, and it was called the European Regenerative Medicine Congress. And in fact, many in this room, I'm sure, will remember that very first meeting. It was a great first two days of industry presentations and networking, and it was the very first of its kind focused solely on commercialization, but it was only a two-day event. Now the event is three days. It has, I believe, the correct title to reflect the people in this room. It is the World Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine Congress. Plus, there is now a whole host of events directly and indirectly linked to this Congress. There's various dinners, drinks receptions, and many formal and informal meetings going on all over the place. For a whole week, the cell therapy industry comes to London for the annual industry jamboree with the Congress firmly at its heart. Things have really changed from that two-day meeting. And I'm very proud to have helped in some small way over the many years to have helped establish that. But it is really the enthusiasm, the willingness to share experiences and the loyalty of our speakers and delegates over nearly what is nearly a decade that have made this the global must-go-to cell therapy industry event of the year.